since I don't normally do um, live voice when I do this, but um, I feel like this drawing was kind of all over the place. I was uh, communicating with two people at the same time. Um, and I had to kind of like stop and go. Um, I'm not sure what these flowers are, so I felt I needed to explain. I, I think I'm going to call them basket weave flower. <laughs> I don't know. They're just weird. Um, they're flowers in my head. Again, my head is a pretty weird place. Uh, but anyways, I think that what this Inktober challenge has taught me is that... Um, you kind of have to commit once you put a line down and sometimes it gets you to places where you least expect it but you kind of have to go with the flow and that's what I did with this one clearly <laughs> um, yeah basket flowers <laughs> with a mountain of something on top I don't know <sighs> Um, I also wanted to mention, uh, I wanted to talk about this pen because I've had so many requests about them. And last night I had a little panic attack, which is why I, I kind of, I'm doing this one late. Because usually I do those in the morning. <coughs> uh, these are pens that I bought at a Muji store in Toronto. We don't have those in Quebec here, but uh, there is a Muji.com store that you can go to and order them online. Just be aware that the shipping is quite horrendous. And I know there are several Muji stores in the States, so if you're from the States, um, you probably will be able to find one near you. I'm not privileged like that. Um, it is called a hexa h-e-x-a uh, I guess it stands for hexagon because it has that shape and it's a gel pen ballpoint uh, 0.25 millimeter and I will put the link in the description of this video so that you guys can go and check it out online because I keep receiving emails and requests, which I don't mind, but if there was a place where you can actually inquire about that, um, that will help you out. I, when I was there, I bought uh, an orange one as well. And like I said, last night I had a little panic attack because I thought that my ink has run out, has ran, had run out. And I think what happened was I was sketching, <laughs> I was sketching in my sketchbook, my normal sketchbook. You're going to get a little scoop here. I have a kind of like a mock-up of my 12 days of Christmas, um, a quick sketch, but I have used this kneaded eraser to erase something and then I was trying to go over it with the hexa pen and for some reason it probably created a residue on the tip of this pen which I'm very surprised because they're quite sturdy I mean I abuse this pen like you have no idea but because it's a ballpoint pen uh, you can't really destroy it so um, it was just a matter of me letting it rest and then I also scribbled on a piece of paper just to try and get whatever was out of there because it is obviously not out of ink yet. But I've used it um, for a week now in these sketches and I've used it outside of this and uh, there's still quite a bit of ink in there I'm pretty sure. I don't know how long it's going to last but um, I've ordered replacements. <laughs> because I panicked um, and then to talk about these flowers again I'm not crazy about them they're, they're, the lines are too strong I find um, I much prefer this one this one is my favorite so far of the whole Inktober I think that the lines are delicate there's just a little bit of shading not too much here I just kind of lost it and went crazy because I had no idea what I was doing 
here the shading's all wrong but anyways I don't want to analyze it any further uh, just because I will do um, a sketchbook tour eventually uh, when I'm done I just realized I never did the um, the stem for the other one this one here um, and yeah that's it so uh, look for this pen if you're interested and by I'm not sponsored by Muji pens by the way I wish I were <laughs> if you have any connections over there send them my way my gosh because uh, these pens are just just amazing and I'm a pen fanatic so uh, I don't want to say that I'm the authority but take my words to the bank when I say that these are fantabulous so I hope that you've enjoyed this one, uh, even if we still don't know what kind of flowers they are. They don't have to be any kinds. I always say that my flowers are always imaginative. Um, but um, this one, I have to say, has me puzzled a little bit. Uh, but anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see, see you later. <laughs> Bye. I guess I could use some gold on this. You know what, let's go for gold. I'm gonna use my creamer gold for this just cause it's, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm just gonna splash. I already have some dots on there so I'm just gonna add more just to make the flowers a little bit more dynamic. Uh, uh, that's a tad too much but hey. You have to commit, right? <laughs> you have to commit. Okay, hold on. Let me just give you a close-up. You'll never know what you're going to get here. <laughs> it's not dry, so you'll be able to see it better from the pictures at the end. I'll include pictures once it's dry. But yeah, here it is. All right, now I'm going. Bye. <laughs>